Justin, just assess your round, please. It was, yeah, it was a good fight. It hung in there well. I felt like I, I definitely didn't play as well as I did the first two days or didn't have my, uh, my best stuff by any means. But, you know, to shoot around like that on, on, is huge on a course like this. Uh, you know, usually that's a, I'm grinding to shoot a, you know, a one, two, three under. But um, here at Sherwood, the scores are very low and you need to be able to, as crazy as it is, shoot a 500 to keep pace. And uh, it was nice, you know, made that par on 15 was huge. And then uh, birdie in 16, 17 was great to kind of give myself a little bit of momentum and um, and cap off, you know, what I felt like was a pretty average day. I know that, oh, well, go for it, Rex. Along those same lines, when you're two under through nine holes on a golf course like this, do you feel like you're losing ground and how can you stay patient in that situation? Um, I guess I didn't feel like I was losing ground. I mean, I know I was just in terms of like, literally I was losing to the leader. Like I was not leading anymore and I was behind. So uh, that, that part was very apparent, but I know that I mean, you literally can birdie every single hole out here. I mean, there's a couple holes that are that are challenging, you know, holes like eight or, or 15. Um, it's just not – that's not saying that you can't make pars and bogeys on, you know, easy holes as well. But if you're playing well, you, you, you can really get after it. So I just was trying to stay patient and understanding that um, good things were going to happen. I just had to be in the right frame of mind for it to, to be that way. And, uh, you know, I had a good back nine to, you know, put, it, put ourselves back in the lead. How much? How much of those? I was just about to kind of get to that. How much of those last few holes kind of change the way you feel about how you played? Uh, it helps a lot. I mean, a, a, a three under was just not near as good as a five, so uh, that was nice. But um, again, I definitely didn't have my best stuff and try to go tighten up on a few things before uh, getting some rest and and going out tomorrow. It's not. It's this is an anomaly on tour. You run into plenty of golf courses like this, but is this the type of golf you you enjoy? <sighs> I guess. I mean, I, I don't. I don't care what it is. If I'm if I win or if I'm winning, I don't care if we're playing a putt putt course. But uh, it's um, it. Uh, if my irons and wedge game are how I feel that they should be, uh, I do enjoy it because if I'm putting the ball in play like I did the first two days and like I did a little bit today, I, I feel like I'm going to give myself a lot of birdie chances and um, and hopefully have a couple kicking kick ins throughout the day and. Um, just I'm, I'm really, really close to kind of hitting everything, every iron wedge like I want. There's just a couple shots I'm still not quite comfortable with, but I'm getting closer. And, um, you know, I just, I, yeah, I feel like you can just reel five in a row off like that. And like kind of like I said earlier, you just have to be in the right frame of mind for it. Yeah, two more quick ones here uh, from Doug Ferguson. Uh, where did the tee shot land on 13 that led to the drop on the path? Uh, it landed just left of the path and just I think it, maybe took a couple of bounces and landed on it. I mean, I felt, I didn't think it was out of bounds or anything like that, but I, I legitimately had no idea because I, I don't know what's over there. So that's why I hit a provisional. Um, but that just kind of was, I felt like our best option on my second shot was playing it off the path. And just, um, and driver on 16, wide driver, and did you think it was going, it was going in the creek? To be perfectly honest, I thought it was in the fairway. I thought it was absolutely perfect. Um, it's just, it's a shot shape that I, with a driver I like more than a three wood because I'm able to to cut a three wood that much. I feel like I'm, I'm more more likely than not going to get it really spinny and pro and heal it potentially, which is going to make it go farther right and go even shorter. But I felt like with that front pin, um, I could carve a driver down there and get to the end of the fairway and have a, a six or seven iron in and make a three. And I knew hitting it as low as I was, if I pulled it, it was just going to land in the bunkers. It wasn't going to be too trouble. But to be honest, I really did think it was going to be good. I thought it was going to kind of skirt around that tree and go to the end of the fairway, and then I heard it hit the branches, um, and then that's when Bone said it was just in the in the right first cut. So uh, yeah, I guess we got lucky there. Thanks, Justin. Yep. Appreciate it.